Hello and welcome to Ubuntu Videocast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install Cacti, the complete RRD tool based graphing solution. Alright, let's get started. Um, yeah. Type in sudo apt-get install and then cacti and cacti spine. Hit enter and then enter your password. Alright, um, accept all the dependencies if you have not installed um, Apache, this is part of it and MySQL and everything. So just accept that and hit enter. So now it's downloading and that might take a while. Okay, after the download is done, um, the first thing you have to do is set a password for the root user on your MySQL database. Right, enter your type in your desired password and hit enter and retype it again enter okay just hit enter here then select your uh, desired uh, Apache server or web server you want to use. So in this case, it is Apache 2. Hit enter. And it goes on with the configuration. Okay, this part is done. And now we have to basically configure the database for Cacti. So um, just say yes here and then enter a password for the administrative user for Cacti okay Alright, and now let's go over to our web server and type in your address for your web server slash cacti. Alright, so um, now we have to do some, some more configuration on cacti itself. So click next and then basically say, okay, it's a new install. Next. And then you uh, check that all these uh, dependencies are green, so it finds all those required files. Scroll down and then say finish. Okay, now we have to log in for the first time. Username and password are both admin. And then it uh, forces you basically to set a new password. And there we are. So, okay, now we have to check a few configuration settings here. So, click on settings, go to the tab path, and then scroll down here and make sure that this path is uh, slash usr slash sbin slash spine, and it says here file found. And then we go to the polar tab. And make sure that we uh, change the uh, the polar type from cmd.php to come on, to spine, and that's about it. Then we click save, and then we're done for the initial configuration. All right, next we have to add uh, devices and graphs to um, our cacti system. All right, let's get started with the device key on devices and by default you have already the local host the machine you have cacti running on already added on to the system all right so we go ahead and add a new device give it a name something you uh, 
find suitable for your uh, device and then the uh, host name or IP address I prefer IP addresses so let's enter the IP address and then you can go ahead and uh, select a host template and um, by default there are just uh, some standard templates available if you're looking for some specific stuff like um, uh, Cisco firewalls or Cisco switches or whatever you have on your network um, visit the website let's open it up here and I show you uh, visit the website uh, docs.cacti.net slash templates and here's a entire list of available templates you know those are the official ones we just saw up there in the pull down menu and then if you go down here you see contributed host templates and then you find templates for all kind of stuff in here like for that for for, for example this one is a zywall or a checkpoint firewall or uh, Cisco 4400 wireless LAN controller, etc., and um, you know, just download them, and then I show you uh, in a little bit where you have to import them. All right, let's go back here. So basically, what you can uh, just select something here, what is closest to your device, and then um, we take all those options here, and then SNMP if you use it. I recommend otherwise you won't have any good graphs here so um, in my case I use SNMP version 1 use the public string uh, or um, adjust it to whatever string you use in your network and then you say create and then you have a new device added here so in this case it will fail because I don't I don't have that one uh, running here and then when that is done successfully you go ahead and create a graph for this host click on that and then basically um, if you use the right template it will give you a, a list of already pre-configured graphs and then you say create and then you did basically two functions in one step Right. in the meantime I switched over to my um, production system <clears throat> so I can demonstrate basically how it will look like after you have uh, a few machines graph for a couple days so if you go to the uh, device list here you see there's my firewall and the cacti host um, you can see the IDs how many graphs are on there how many data sources available and if the st if the machine is up and running or if it's offline or not available and then the host name or IP address the, um, the availability and so on so let's go over to uh, my graphs and then let's go here to the firewall there we go so there's the CPU utilization of your firewall the the traffic the total traffic and uh, you know the connections for in and outgoing traffic and then uh, your local host you have that too like memory utilization disk space um, the load the uh, locked in users right now it's just just me <laughs> and um, the um, processes that's running on that machine all right and let's go ahead let me show you how to um, import templates basically you go if it's a, a host template you go in here and uh, and click on import template and then in that window you click on the browse button browse to the location where you saved your uh, template and usually it is an XML file so select that one click open and when that is showing up there click on save and then next time when you import a, or add a new device in your uh, host template pull down menu you will see the newly imported template for your new device 
I hope you like this how to video. Don't forget to rate this video and visit my website at www.ubuntuvideocast.com for more information. Thank you for watching Ubuntu Videocast.